As one of the least well endowed colleges, although we're very committed to doing our bit for sustainability, we struggle in terms of resource, literally human resource, to undertake even the projects that will give us the information to tell us what we need to do. So we were delighted to work in partnership with the Living Labs and find committed and enthusiastic students to undertake these projects on our behalf. Welcome and I'm really glad you've come for celebrating the Living Laboratory for Sustainability at the end of the academic year. Living Labs helped us to, to fund modelling software um, that we then trained the students to use and to sort of design and model real solar installations for different buildings. We're very happy because the students are a lot, a lot more excited and they learned a skill that's actually applicable to the real world. So different companies designing solar installations would use the same software that they're using at the moment to, to design installations here. I'm currently doing my dissertation and when I chose the topic I wanted to address a question that was going around in my head for a very long while. That was, what would the world look like if sustainability mattered as much as profits? The tool I'm developing right now uses some of those tools for finance and as concepts for other things like energy or carbon. I wanted to do something that was meaningful and where it could be used and where it could make actually a difference. So we're, we're talking about making decisions differently. And uh, that's where I met Emily and uh, found out about the Living Lab and uh, a lot of opportunities opened up. Last year I was lucky enough to be the travel plan intern uh, with travel plan coordinator Amanda. And um, I worked at surveying departments to see what kind of infrastructure they had in place to support their staff with sustainable travel. There's something to be done about sustainability. It's really about people and the internship helped me find out about that. I began in the post at the beginning of last year is um, see how leaky and inefficient the actual building structure was. And the best way of doing that is through thermal imaging, really. You take an image of a building in the infrared spectrum and it shows up where you've got heat escaping, basically. We wanted to really find out which windows were worst, which insulation has failed, that kind of thing. It's really been brilliant to be able to pull this project together in quite a short period of time as well, get some enthusiastic students on board and get the job done. So I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I'm working with two other people on a consultancy project for Lucy Cavendish College. In this project, we're analysing the energy consumption of the college since they implemented the heating policy change. And it's really exciting to work on this project because we get to use the analysis skills that we developed during our PhD and apply it to a real life problem. Hi, I'm Emma. I will be working with The Living Lab on a PhD to reduce the environmental impact of human diet. And I'm really looking forward to it. So we've just wrapped up this year's Living Laboratory for Sustainability celebration event and it went really well. It was great having everyone who's been involved through the year all in one room because everyone's doing very different projects um, so it's the first time everyone's met and there's lots of new collaborations that have come out of it which is quite exciting I and mean, it's already got me buzzing with ideas for thinking about what we're going to be doing next year and beyond um, so yeah it's been brilliant.